continue the discussion on chemistry of alkenes. We shall in this lecture discuss various types of mechanisms for addition to carbon carbon double bond such as mechanism of polar or free radical addition and the hydrogenation with certain examples of each case particularly polar addition using KMnO4, peroxyformic acid, hypohalous acids, sulfuric acid and water that is addition of electrophilic reagents. Besides mechanism of trans addition of bromine on cyclohexene and on cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene are discussed. It will be interesting to understand the formation of enantiomeric and meso products through conversion of Newman projection into Fisher projections. Alkenes undergo addition reactions at the double bond. The pi electrons of alkenes are a nucleophilic site and they react with electrophiles by three different mechanisms depending upon reaction conditions. These may be hydrogenation, free radical mechanism and polar mechanism or ionic mechanism as mentioned in the beginning. To start with hydrogenation, as you understand simply hydrogenation means addition of a hydrogen molecule across carbon carbon double bond in presence of a catalyst normally uh, transition metal catalyst like platinum. You can see in the reaction here. When we say hydrogenation it may be of two types. So, in presence of metal catalyst this is termed as heterogeneous catalyst which is the first example you are seeing here and it may be chemical hydrogenation in which we take help of diborane as a reagent and though diborane as you know exists as B 2 H 6, but in the organic reactions we represent here is as B H 3. So, this will also lead to hydrogenated alkene and another method in terms of chemical hydrogenation is the use of hydrazine with cupric ions in presence of hydrazine. So, we get again uh, hydrogenated alkene that is an alkane. In free radical mechanism which is generally uh, which generally takes place in presence of peroxide and we will consider example addition on CH 2 CH 2 that is simple ethylenic molecule. So, as I said a peroxide we need a peroxide here this is a peroxide shown here. So, with UV or other radiation it gives two peroxide radicals and when it reacts with an HBr molecule. So, a Br free radical is generated. So, this Br free radical attacks onto the alkenyl double bond leading to a free radical and this free radical so generated in which a Br has already been added now again reacts with another HBr molecule from which it abstracts an H radical and generates a Br free radical. So, this bromine free radical so produced in this reaction in this step is again used to continue as a chain reaction as we have shown here in between which is part of the propagation of the reaction. And this uh, third step can be considered as termination of chain reaction. So, this is in fact addition product is our CH 2 Br CH 3. Now, we consider free radical addition instead of a simple alkene we consider this addition on an unsymmetrical alkene like an R group is substituted. So, we have R C H double bond C H 2 with H B R product would be R C H 2 C H 2 B R. How does it take place? We will discuss uh, soon after this, but here we see the product. Similarly, on this R C H double bond C H 2 such an al alkylated alkene addition of chloroform by free radical mechanism leads to formation of molecule like R C H 2 C H 2 C C L 3. Our focus in today's discussion is ionic mechanism or polar mechanism addition through electrophiles. We consider in this case a simple ethylenic system C H 2 double bond C H 2 and our electrophile molecule or the adding reagent is a bromine molecule. So, this bromine molecule gives us effective electrophile we are showing in this case. So, and it gets added onto one of the double bonded carbon leading to the formation of a carbocation and a Br minus which we consider as the nucleophile. 
and in the step 2 this nucleophile so generated Br minus in this case would add on to this initially formed carbocation finally leading to a product CH 2 Br CH 2 Br 1 to dibromoethane overall addition reaction. Other examples we consider in this case simple uh, other alkyl halides X can be considered as halogen. So, situation would be R CH instead of CH 2 CH 2 we have taken in this case also uh, alkylated alkene R CH double bond CH 2. So, the product would be R CH hydrogen or this halogen goes to this carbon which has less number of hydrogen R CH double bond CH 2 HOX product you can see here is OH is coming on to the carbon which has less number of hydrogen in initial uh, alkene. We continue with our other examples addition of water molecule under acidic conditions leads to the formation of an alcohol addition of sulfuric acid which in itself is an acid and addition is initiated by H plus from the sulfuric acid as an electrophile leading to formation of such a species. We have also seen this reaction under polar addition earlier we saw addition or reaction with BH 3 under hydrogenation. Now, we are considering this addition or this reagent BH 3 with hydrogen peroxide followed by treatment with sodium hydroxide product is alcohol. Similarly, with dilute KMnO 4 product is 1 2 dialcohol both the OH groups or the 2 OH groups in the product are coming to 1 2 position with respect to double bond in starting alkene molecule. While if we do this reaction with hot KMnO 4, so product is not an alcohol or a diol it is a carboxylic acid and a molecule of carbon dioxide is eliminated. Another example of polar addition in this category is addition with per acids. So, in this case also we get 1 2 diol. If you look at the products in terms of stereochemistry the diol 1 2 diol obtained as a result of reaction with dilute KMnO 4 the two hydroxyl groups are coming on the same side and we can call it as syn addition. While addition resulting from per acid though it gives a diol 1 2 diol, but the two hydroxyl groups are coming anti to each other in the product. Another interesting example is ozonolysis. Uh, we shall discuss however, this ozonolysis in detail separately, but to take different examples of addition reactions across carbon carbon double bond we consider it in such a way that the products are aldehydes. What we can as a principle understand that this double bond between the two carbon atoms is converted into two such products in which each carbon is bonded to oxygen by a double bond as you can see here in this case also. In fact, this double bond to oxygen is with the carbon similarly in this molecule. You can see uh, the summary of uh, these addition reactions here in this table showing polar mechanisms on a particularly CH 2 CH 2 a simple ethylenic system. Uh, we have discussed in terms of halogens chlorine bromine particularly we have discussed ethylene dihalide hydrohalic acids H x ethylene dihalide CH 2 x CH 2 x is the product hypohalous acids ethylene halohydrin is the product you can see we have discussed already sulfuric acid we have also seen ethyl bisulfate is the product and with water in presence of acid ethyl alcohol because it was ethylene. So, ethyl alcohol is the product. Looking into uh, a summary of addition reactions by polar mechanism we have seen certain examples and these examples are continued with uh, application of borane. You know the structure of diborane is different it is uh, B 2 H 6, but in organic chemistry we take it as B H 3 to show the addition in this case here. And finally, with treatment with hydrogen peroxide under alkaline conditions the product is uh, ethyl alcohol or an alcohol molecule primary alcohol particularly. A similarly, addition product as a result of reaction with per acids the example like peroxy formic acid followed by treatment with mineral acid or H plus ethylene glycol is the product wherein the two hydroxyl groups in this case not shown, but earlier uh, slides has shown it uh, the two hydroxyls are coming 
uh, entry to each other in the final product, though they are come to 1 2 position. We have just discussed general aspects of chemical reactions of alkenes with three major types of mechanisms involved hydrogenation, free radical mechanism and ionic mechanism. Now, we shall continue to discuss different aspects of electrophilic addition to alkenes in details in the subsequent slides. To understand electrophilic addition, we shall have to examine the characteristics of carbon carbon double bond. Carbon carbon double bond has a strong sigma and weak pi bond as you know both the carbons are in sp 2 state of hybridization and each carbon has one unhybridized p orbital which is responsible for the formation of the pi bond between these two carbons which we represent by in the language of chemistry as a double bond in this manner. Electrons in pi orbitals are more diffuse and more readily polarizable than those of a sigma bond. Pi bond shields the molecule from attack by nucleophiles because it is already rich in electrons. So, any species which is rich in electrons which we call a nucleophile cannot easily attack the carbon carbon double bond system. So, reactions are initiated by electron deficient species which we call as electrophiles as they are seeking for further electrons which are available to them in the pi electron system. Looking to the reactions which we have just discussed in terms of their products different reagents and with different alkenes simple ethylenic alkene or RCH double bond CH 2 also, it might appear that addition of say a simple molecule halogen X 2 or a bromine to the double bond may be a single one step process. As you can see uh, a carbon carbon double bond a bromine molecule coming in and 1 2 dibromo alkane or ethane is produced. You must have also experienced in your laboratory uh, test for unsaturation. You treat a given organic molecule by bromine water, you shake it and you observe that the color of bromine water disappears. It means the bromine gets added on across this double bond leading to such a product which is not colored. But in fact, when we look at the mechanism of the addition reactions and we see certain experimental evidences, we find something different. Let us discuss. Number 1, such additions are stereochemically trans as shown with the addition on cyclopentene earlier example we took was for simple ethylenic double bond CH 2 double bond CH 2 and in that case we showed a dibromo product. Since the product that is 1 2 dibromo ethane carbon carbon has a single bond and there is a possibility of free rotation. So, the position of the two bromines in the final product does not verify or confirm or show that the two bromines are trans in the product. That is possible when we have such an alkene as the starting material as the substrate in which there is no free rotation because of the cyclic system involved here. So, the final product in this case is still 1 2 dibromo, but we find that it is 100 percent trans 1 2 dibromo uh, cyclopentane molecule. The other experimental evidence comes when we have certain other nucleophiles in the systems like C L minus, N O 3 minus or even water molecule in presence of acid. They give products in addition to the normal 1 2 dibromo products, products corresponding to these nucleophiles present in the system. So, that means we can say mixed products result from carrying out the addition in presence of other nucleophiles because Br minus is a weak nucleophile compared to other nucleophiles present in the system. We can see in this reaction this is a simple ethylenic uh, molecule and here we are having uh, this C L minus present in the system, N O 3 minus present in the system, Br minus from our original uh, bromine molecule and H 2 O also we are considering. So, we find that here in this case chlorobromo product in this case bromo nitro in this case dibromo as usual or in this case a bromohydrin are the products. So, these are possible if corresponding nucleophiles C L minus N O 3 minus and H 2 O are present in the system in addition to the 1 2 dibromo LK. And the products shown in the previous slide in presence of other nucleophiles. So, the reagents are sodium chloride NaNO3 
or simply water molecule. These products do not result merely from secondary attack of Cl minus or NO3 minus or H2O or the water molecule on the first formed dibromide. This has also been confirmed by the fact that they are produced much faster than these substitutions proceeding under comparable conditions. So, these evidences suggest that addition is a two step process. Step 1 which is initiated by the positive end of bromine molecule that is Br plus which is polarized in closed vicinity of electron cloud or through other agency for example, glass walls of the container or any other Lewis acid etcetera present in the system. So, we can see here this is the pi electron cloud we have already discussed this structure a bromine molecule. So, the first step in fact or not even a first step or the initiation step we can consider that this bromine molecule gets entrapped into the pi electron cloud. No bond formation between any of the bromine atoms and any of the carbon atoms of the substrate takes place. So, such a species is termed as a pi complex and now the polarization takes place when such a pi complex is formed and the positively charged species from this bromine molecule gets bonded to any of the carbons resulting into other carbon becoming positively charged which we call a carbocation. So, the carbocation is a resonance stabilized species as we will see this is the same carbocation bromine as you know the electronic configuration of bromine it has its lone pairs of electrons. So, one of the lone pairs of electrons of bromine is utilized or is donated into the vacant p orbital of this positively charged carbocation or this carbon. As a result such a bromonium ion or a bridge structure is formed. So, these two species in which carbon bears the positive charge and the other one in which bromine has donated its electron pair and now bearing a positive charge along with two of its electron pairs. These two are known as canonical forms or resonating forms. This is indeed a stabilization of this initially produced carbocation. So, on this species now the other nucleophile present in the system whether it is the Br minus coming from our original parent bromine molecule or any other nucleophile like Cl minus NO3 minus etcetera present in the system would give us corresponding product. So, in this reaction it is 1 to dibromoethane. So, I have also shown in this case anti addition the two bromines are coming anti to each other. So, we have discussed we say in single bonded compounds we use the term anti while in case of cyclic systems or double bonded systems we use the term trans as we had seen in case of trans 1 to dibromo cyclopentane. So, formation of carbocation is the rate determining step. So, it may take place directly that means formation of carbocation or via the rapid reversible formation of a pi complex as I just mentioned which is converted to carbocation. So, this is I have shown here with in terms of H plus as the pi complex and in the slow rate determining step a carbocation is formed. So, H plus is acting as an electrophile in this reaction. So, we have shown the two bromine atoms anti to each other in the product. The anti addition of bromine is explained by the involvement of bromonium ion which is a bridged species because the presence of bulky bromine atom would clearly make attack from the back very easily and faster. Attack of what? Attack of the other nucleophile leading to the final product. You can see once again here the same carbocation this bromine uh, resonance stabilized species we call the bromonium ion. So, this bridge kind of a structure is produced here. So, any other nucleophile whether it is Br minus has difficulty in terms of static hindrance because of this bridge present here. So, it would attack from the side opposite to this bridging bromine. As a result this bromine comes anti to the earlier or the initially added bromine in this case. That is why we call that it is an anti addition product uh, the two bromines are coming one two positions. Addition is facilitated by presence of electron donating substituents on the double bonded carbon 
and following relative reaction rates are observed. Uh, this is a simple uh, one uh, CH2 double bond CHBr, it is almost equal if it is not Br, it is a carboxylic group. In comparison to these substituents present in an ethylenic system, a simple unsubstituted ethylene is more reactive, which is if it is substituted by an alkyl group, it is more reactive. If it is substituted by an ethyl group, so we say that alkene is more reactive under these addition reactions. So, more alkylated alkenes as you can see here, uh, this alkene has a methyl and ethyl group, other alkene has 2 methyl, 1 ethyl group and this one has all 4 hydrogens substituted by 4 methyl groups. So, seems to be most reactive. The simple reason for such increased reactivity of these substituted alkenes is explained in terms of the plus i effect that is the plus inductive effect and hyperconjugation effect caused by these alkyl groups to stabilize the carbocation so produced in the rate determining step of our addition reactions which we have uh, examined and discussed that it is a two step process and the first step rate determining step is the formation of carbocation. A phenyl group has uh, different a role to play because it increases the rate of electrophilic addition considerably due to stabilization that it can induce in the intermediate that is the uh, carbocation once again in the transition state. Greater the stabilization of the carbocation so produced in the rate determining step, greater the reactivity of uh, the substrate or the initial alkene. So, phenyl ring because of the greater delocalization in the ring of this positive charge. So, such a carbocation is more stabilized. To further understand the anti addition, let us consider addition of bromine on cis and trans 2 butene. This is the uh, cis 2 butene molecule, you can see the two methyl groups are on one side of the double bond and the two hydrogens are on the other side of the double bond. Addition of bromine, same way initiation attack by Br plus leading to the formation of the carbocation followed by resonance stabilized bromonium ion. So, when we see this bromonium ion, the stereochemistry or the steric position of the two methyl groups which were cis in our substrate is still the cis. Situation would be in the next step, in the fast step, the Br minus the nucleophile may attack on this carbon on the right hand side represented in this figure or on the other carbon in the left hand side. So, if it is attacking or getting added onto the left hand side carbon. So, we find that a structure like this is obtained. If the incoming nucleophile that is B r minus attacks onto the right hand side carbon in this structure, we get this product represented here. And in fact, we will examine how in fact, these two species the two products so produced are enantiomeric to each other and the reaction product is a DL mixture. Bromine is a nucleophile attacks on either of the carbons as I have mentioned equal chances. So, therefore, the two enantiomers are produced in equal amounts and we also call it a racemic mixture or a DL mixture. Since the overall addition is 1 to addition and the two bromine atoms are adding anti to each other and in the alkene the two methyl groups are cis point to be noted. Two bromine atoms are coming anti to each other and earlier the two methyl groups or the two hydrogens were cis in the substrate. So, the product is a DL mixture of 2, 3 dibromobutane that is a racemic mixture because of equal probability of attack of bromine or Br minus or the nucleophile either of the carbons. Uh, examining this reaction with respect to or for trans 2 butene, we see the similar kind of a bromonium ion but let us observe the position of two methyl groups which are trans to each other, the two hydrogens which are trans to each other as they were in the starting substrate trans 2 butene. Same situation, there are equal probabilities of Br minus attacking on to the left side carbon or on to the right side carbon and the two products so obtained. In representation, we observe that they look like two different products but carefully examining their configuration, we find that 
both are meso it is one and the same product they are not two different products either in terms of stereoisomers or in any other chemical terms since the alkene is trans and addition of two bromine atoms is also anti to each other we have already established that the two bromines come anti to each other and in this case it makes a difference because as a result of addition of bromine either to cis 2 butene or to trans 2 butene two asymmetric carbons or stereogenic centers are generated. So, the stereochemistry of the product is important. So, in one case a DL mixture a racemic mixture is obtained and in another case only meso product is obtained. So, we find in practice with trans 2 butene that the addition is almost completely stereo selective that is 100 percent anti addition leading to meso product. Uh, there is a simple approach to explain the formation of enantiomers as the real mixture we can say via conversion of Newman projection into Fisher projection. I hope you are aware with the uh, Newman projection formulas and Fisher projection formulas to represent the stereochemical or the configurations of different molecules. Uh, this is a truncated Newman projection formula for cis 2 butene. You see that instead of a double bond between two carbons in simple representation of uh, cis 2 butene, I have tried to represent it in terms of a truncated Newman projection, two methyls one side and two hydrogens other side. So, it is a cis 2 butene. As we see, this is the uh, other representation of cis 2 butene, this is the bromonium ion for this one and bromine Br minus the nucleophile may come on either of the carbon with equal chances the two products as a racemic product. But in terms of Newman projection we would represent the two bromines in this manner as anti conformation because we have already established that the two bromines they are coming one two positions, but anti to each other two bromines anti to each other and in Newman projection we represent this is an anti conformation for 1 2 dibromo butane. So, we go back in this case and we find that this is the rear carbon with this one this is represented by the first cross section in the Fisher projection and this is the front carbon at the center of this circle it is represented by the lower cross section in this Fisher projection and to represent the groups now considering the groups on the front carbon methyl is on the left hand side since Fisher projection is a two dimensional representation. So, we keep this methyl which was on the left in the left side of a Fisher projection accordingly hydrogen was on the right we keep hydrogen on the right hand side in Fisher projection. Bromine on the front carbon in this Newman projection was at the upper end. So, since this carbon is representing the front carbon we will write it at the lower end of the vertical line in Fisher projection. Accordingly the other three groups on the rear carbon are represented on this upper cross section that is the another asymmetric carbon or stereogenic center in this Fisher projection. So, bromine on the left hand side this is this bromine the, this hydrogen on the right hand side and methyl which is at the top remains at the top in this case. Similarly, from this Newman projection we have developed this Fisher projection. So, there is no confusion on the account which eclipse state we have taken. In this case methyl and bromine are eclipsing, in this case bromine and bromine are eclipsing never mind do not worry you can draw the Fisher projection from either of the eclipse state. Once we have converted this Newman projection into a Fisher projection which is a two dimensional representation we know the sequence rules we know the RS system and we can find out absolute configuration. We observe in this case both the carbons have absolute configuration represented with capital S. So, after considering addition of bromine let us look addition of other halogens to olefins. A number of olefins are known to add bromine as we have already discussed in a highly stereospecific manner we have seen examples giving anti addition products we have seen mechanism also for this. A common feature that gives extensive syn addition is the presence of a phenyl ring on at least 
one of the olefinic carbons. The phenyl substituent is believed to be responsible for the loss of stereospecificity. Let us see how. The presence of a phenyl substituent diminishes the formation of strong bromonium ion bridging, since it can selectively stabilize or effectively stabilize the positive charge. This we will look in the following reaction. The intermediate has carbocation character at the phenyl substituted carbon. The effect of diminished bridging is to increase the rate of rotation around the central carbon carbon bond. So, a rotation around this carbon carbon bond may take place. So, if such rotation takes place then anti stereospecificity is of course, lost. So, the products 100 percent anti products are not obtained and we find even with the aliphatic olefins there is a strong bridging with bromine resulting in such an intermediate and with phenyl substitution leading to increased carbonium ion character by the benzylic side showing a preference for syn addition and the addition is less stereospecific. So, not 100 percent anti addition because of its smaller polarizability the chlorine atom is less effective than bromine for addition to any particular olefin. Therefore, bromination shows a higher degree of stereospecific addition than chlorination. There may be many other molecules that react with olefins by mechanism similar to halogenation. Attack on olefins is initiated by positive portion of the reagent and bridged intermediates are believed to be involved. The direction of opening of bridge is usually governed by electronic factors that is addition is completed by attack of nucleophile at the most positive carbon atom of the bridged intermediate. When the bridging is very strong and most of the positive charge is centered on the heteroatom, it could be say for example, sulfur, steric factors outweigh the small electronic differences between the two carbon atoms and easier approach by the nucleophile dominates. We can see in pictures below attack of nucleophile onto this carbon. So, bridging in this side is weaker. So, electronic control of the ring opening. So, nucleophile attacks at more positive carbon. So, nucleophilic attack on the more positive carbon while in this case steric control ring opening is controlled by steric factors R is a bulky group and it is not. So, this side is a uh, bridge is weaker. So, nucleophile attacks the less hindered side or the less substituted side. In summary we can say today we discussed general aspects of chemical reactions of alkenes. These included characteristics of carbon carbon double bond which contains a sigma and a pi bond, three major types of mechanisms involved the hydrogenation and the uh, free radical addition and polar or ionic addition mechanisms, detailed mechanistic aspects of polar or ionic mechanism with different examples including formation of a racemic mixture or a meso compound starting from different geometrical isomers of 2 butene along with several examples of other polar addition reactions. In the next episode we shall discuss the orientation effect, the peroxide effect and how in presence of peroxide that is free radical addition. Since today we discussed in detail the polar mechanism. So, we need to discuss on the similar lines a detailed mechanistic aspect of free radical addition reactions.